Hey, Dan Meyer here, and we are back with how to get more speaking gigs using a VA part two, right? So uh, in the first one, we talked about things like how to use your VA to market you so that you're not marketing yourself. You're, you're indirectly being marketed through somebody else. It just adds to your credibility. We talked about how to make sure that you get on other stages by connecting with other speakers. You should have a huge network of other public speakers. You should be following with them, engaging them, adding them on your LinkedIn, following their Facebook pages, whatever it takes to get yourself um, into their world. So it increases your speaking gigs. We talked about how to make sure that you both establish yourself in your niche and then have a plan to dominate your niche. And then I, I finished up talking about how to have your VA make sure that you are up to date when it comes to social media. This was part one. So go ahead. If you want, you can watch part one first if you haven't already. You already saw part one. That's review for you. Let's dive into the second part, right? So I left off talking about keywords, how important it is to have keywords, right? And I talked about how sometimes it seems like we're going overboard with putting in so many hashtags and keywords um, that sometimes it has a, a big chunk of our post is that, well, that's okay, right? Um, people will find you because of that. That will open up new things and you should be consistent. You should have a list of keywords you use for all your posts. Now, maybe some posts you don't use every all the same keywords, but you should have a go-to list. And this is something that, again, your VA should be managing for you, right? So you don't have to remember every keyword. You don't have to make sure you do it every time you post. You can have a VA do your posting on your social media and keywording things so that way it drives traffic. Say you're going to be speaking in an event in a couple weeks and you want to promote that event. Put that in everything you post before that event happens. Say that you're trying to, to get more speakers in your network. You're trying to grow your network in a certain niche. Keyword that niche. Hashtag that niche. Whatever it takes to get your um, post to be in the top. All right, so the next thing we'll talk about is recommendations, right? It's super important to get recommendations. You wanna ask for recommendations and you start with your recommendations on your LinkedIn profile because although most people won't come to you come to your LinkedIn profile to find you, they will go to your LinkedIn profile to validate you're legit. And what I mean by this is that when people come across your post somewhere or they see something one of your VAs put out there, they see your picture and your name on a poster or a banner, um, they're going to want to make sure that you actually are an expert in your field. And they want to see what your professional background is and what your education is and what you've done to be able to establish yourself as an expert. They go to LinkedIn for that. So your LinkedIn profile should have a bunch of up-to-date recommendations that mention you as a speaker. If you look at recommendations that I have for my business, especially the ones that are recent recommendations, they are one that mention me as a speaker, right? This is super important. Um, you should do that. You should have either yourself or your VA, if you're having your VA manager LinkedIn like I do, um, get a bunch of recommendations from people that you know that can validate that you're a good speaker and that you are a subject matter expert. Do that and it will give legitimacy so people won't question whether they should hire you or not. As soon as they looked at your LinkedIn profile, it should sell them on the fact that you are exactly what they're looking for. Now, you can also do the same thing with your Facebook business page. You should make sure you're getting recommendations and, or reviews of your Facebook business page that talk about your success as a speaker. My Sonic Analytics company, where I built to be the top name brand in analytics in the Philippines, every review, it's all about how great um, I am as a speaker and a trainer and an educator and how that adds value to every business I work with. I've worked with pretty much every big company based in the Philippines. Every American company that has a call center in the Philippines, which is about every big Fortune 500 American company, um, I've done training for um, because I've been hired to do analytics training and I get recommendations out of that in the trainings. I push them out there in marketing and of course I get them on my Facebook and business pages. The next thing you should do is really think about your sizzle reel, right? So you should already have a sizzle reel. If you're a public speaker, you should have that one to two minute, probably one minute ideal, quick pace, you know, like a bunch of visuals, fast moving, fast moving music, and information talks about why you, right? So I have a couple different sizzle reels I use. Sometimes I'm promoting my business, sometimes me as a speaker. It depends on the audience that I'm going to talk to. Um, but you want to embed that video. Videos sell, quick videos, minute long videos. Think right now how popular TikTok is. That's 15 seconds. You should be able to do a 15 second sizzle reel, right? Now, if you add around that your contact information and intro and outro, it's probably getting closer to a minute. But that core 15 minutes, if you're in front of somebody for 15 minutes, 15 seconds, I'm sorry, 
15 seconds. You should be able to have a 15 second hook. If you can't hook somebody to book you to speak in 15 seconds, you're not gonna do it in 15 minutes, right? So make sure that scissor reel is really awesome. Um, and then of course, speak for free wherever possible. I have this rule. I will speak anywhere for free if I can sell. I will speak anywhere for free if I can be in front of a big group of people where I can influence. I will speak for free if I can give away marketing materials, if I can have a booth or a table, right? Um, I will speak for free if I can have my logo on, in the online conference site. If somebody's going to promote me, I'm going to probably speak for free. Now, I like to get paid, and I prefer gigs where I get paid to speak, and I do that when I do training, especially for corporations and big businesses, but when I'm speaking in small groups or speaking in public for small business owners, most of those gigs are actually where I'm doing it for free, knowing that I can make money on on connecting with people and offering the service or product they can buy from me. Um, and you want to get out there. My, my mentor, Bill Walsh, says you should be, um, if you're in the public speaking arena, until you've done your first 100 speaking gigs, you're just practicing, right? You need to get those 100 swings at the plate before you can start going for home runs. You want to get your timing down. You want to get your presentation down. You want to make sure your styles are right. You want to make sure that you have all the right pacing for what you're doing. When you do that, you want to really have lots of practice. Now, I've had probably somewhere, I don't know if I really actually was able to count it, it's close to 300 times I've uh, had in, been in front of an audience in the last couple years. Um, in my entire career, since I graduated college, um, counting times where I spoke at conferences when I was in grad school, I mean, I probably had over a thousand speaking gigs. Um, so I know what I'm doing, I know how to do it. And uh, I, I think that it's something that everyone can do a little bit differently, but there's definitely rules. So make sure that when you speak, you think about your audience, you think about what you wanna give them, you think about how much time you have. There's a lot of things that go into speaking, um, but uh, it all starts with getting out there and speaking. So when you're starting out, speak for free, speak wherever you can, whatever it makes sense to do that business-wise. If you do this, then you're gonna be really successful. Um, again, a VA can help you find free speaking gigs. A VA should be the one that should be scouring events, looking at other act activities coming up, looking for summits and conferences, both online and physical, where you can go speak at. They should be connecting with people and asking, "Can I? My, my boss is interested in speaking at your event. Here's his profile. Here's his requirements. Let us know if he can speak for you. Something like that, right? Um, that's one of the things your VA can do. Your VA can also do things like manage your YouTube videos, like mine does. I don't do my own YouTube videos. I record it. What you're seeing, I record the content. After that, one of my VAs takes it and adds the graphics and adds the images and adds the header uh, and adds the intro and outro music, posts it, manages it, does the engagement. I don't manage my own Facebook pages. I don't manage my own LinkedIn profile. Um, so your VAs can do things like that. As a speaker, um, you want to be promoting yourself all the time and you don't have time to do that. So when it comes to getting you booked on stage, getting you signed up to attend events where you can speak at, being able to set up appointments as follow-up, recording all the content information you get at these events into your CRM, um, doing follow-up emails, set up appointments, market research, whatever you want to be able to do with your business that you shouldn't be doing, you hire a VA to do, right? The idea really is that um, if you have a good VA like I do, you can focus on what you do best by hiring someone to do all the rest. So that's my talk for today. Um, I hope that you found it interesting. Um, I talked about all the different things that you can do to get more speaking gigs using a VA, a virtual assistant. Um, if you want to learn more, you can do uh, two things. You can text the word data. That's text the word data, D-A-T-A, -A, to 26786. And you'll get a reply back that will give you a form to fill out to be able to tell us what are the things that you're thinking you can have a VA do to help you get more speaking gigs. Do you need people to do research, looking for new stages to speak on? Do you want people to send email campaigns? Do you want people to connect you on social media? Do you need to be able to share and add more information um, across different conferences and summits, both in person and online? Whatever it may be, text the word data to 26786 and we'll hook you up with a VA to get you started. You can also go to our website, sonicva.com. It's S O N icva.com and send us a message and we'll be able to get you going within a couple of days. It takes usually three business days max from when you first connect with us to when we have somebody starting with you. Um, all my VAs are amazing. Um, they're all educated, college educated. They all have a lot of professional experience. They all have great communication skills. Um, they will help your business grow when it comes to speaking. Most of my clients are professional speakers and coaches. Most of my clients hired VAs with me because they wanted to grow their speaking business and they're all quite happy with it. So there you go. Thanks for your time. Now go out there and figure out how to use your VA to get yourself more speaking gigs.